Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up here in Grand Theft Auto V. I'm RJ. A couple of videos ago, we showed off how earthquakes were supposed to be in GTA San Andreas. Now, unfortunately, it's been stripped out of the game, but you can still find evidence of the earthquakes within the game code under weather. And you can create the earthquake using a mod. Needless to say, it is far from complete. And it is really glitched out, but I think they were going to perfect it and hopefully add it in for Grand Theft Auto V. What are you guys running from? Is it the cougar? I see him in the distance. You have taken me out many times during these recording sessions. But not this time. I'll let him go, though. We're nature lovers here at Trippy Comms. Well, I think that not only were earthquakes supposed to be part of Grand Theft Auto V, perhaps, it was supposed to be a big Easter egg in the Chiliad mystery. We already have the UFOs. Maybe that is the missing component. I'll show off some proof in this video. And of course, I'll show you guys the earthquakes from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It is pretty hilarious. We'll have plenty of live streams all week long and a brand new episode going up tomorrow as well. There's something I have to get off my back when it comes to Rockstar Games as we approach the debut of Red Dead Redemption 2. There is something that I'm worried about that we see in GTA Online. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. But without further delay, let's get into the video. Earthquakes here in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, the first thing I have to point out is Trevor's shirt. You notice how the nuclear symbol seems to repeat more than anything else in this game. Trevor wears it all the time. And we discussed this in a live stream recently, getting some pretty good gameplay footage. Here we are at the Up and Atom Burger. I brought the entire crew to follow the trail of the atomic symbols in Grand Theft Auto 5. And this is where it starts off. The Atomic Burger. You guys probably have heard of In-N-Out Burger in California. Unfortunately, I've never been there, but it's supposed to be super potent. And it is represented within Grand Theft Auto V as the Up and Atom Burger, the atomic symbol. And this is the start of the trail. So thanks again for joining up, guys. So let's get to the earthquake footage from GTA San Andreas. You could tell it is not quite right, but imagine it in Grand Theft Auto V. It would have been amazing. You may remember at the end of the game when Los Santos was on fire. So that was meant to represent the Los Angeles riots. It kind of looked like this. Of course, the ground is also shaking. So I'm guessing to create the earthquakes, they would have taken the riot mode and then made everything shake. So that way you would have had anarchy wherever you were at, whether it be Los Santos. That's the only place we see the riots. But then you also could have had an earthquake in Los Venturas or San Fierro. But you can tell this is on the original Xbox and the PlayStation 2. The consoles could not handle it. At first, it looks kind of realistic. But then, shout out to the VatMM channel. He managed to pull it off. He turns up the earthquake a little bit more. And all of a sudden, you got a car flying away. So for the most part, it looks okay. But considering you would have had the glitches with cars just flying away. And then eventually, the more he turns it up, it starts to affect CJ. It just never was in working order. But in Grand Theft Auto V, you'd think that they would finally be able to pull it off. They wanted to. The game is named after the San Andreas Fault, and that's what creates the earthquakes in California. So why not have earthquakes in GTA San Andreas? Look at that. That is so broken. Based on the Chiliad mystery, I think something big was going to create the earthquake. Now, back at the Up and Atom Burger, notice how right across the street from the restaurant, you have one of the UFOs, the WTF UFO. I think that kind of connects the Chiliad mystery with the atomic symbol. And then there's a mural right next door to the restaurant that has me thinking of the future of San Andreas. Why do I think an earthquake is supposed to hit the GTA 5 version of San Andreas in the near future? It says, Up and Atom Burgers, the taste of America's future. That does not make sense for a restaurant. What do you mean burgers are the taste of the future? I think it is the atomic symbol and maybe an earthquake that is part of America's future. Perhaps it's something atomic that triggers the earthquake or was supposed to trigger the earthquake in the Chiliad mystery. So there you have it, a mural right next to the restaurant. You got the UFO and then down the road, here it is. You got the up and atom billboard. It looks like a microwave. It also says now in your freezer section, but right below the billboard, there's a restaurant called Tsunami. So if there is an earthquake, you're most likely going to have a tsunami. Yet another atomic symbol with the Up and Atom Burger, and it's right down the road. I do not think that's a coincidence, guys. Come on, you know that the earthquake would create the tsunami. There's other clues showing off a tsunami. Huge shout out to the Xbox crew for joining up with me for the hunt. So here we have the observatory. Have you noticed that on the top of the obelisk, if you look at it from the side, it creates a perfect atomic symbol. Now, most people would agree that the observatory seems to be one of the more mysterious locations in the game. If you finish off the Doomsday DLC, it ends right there at the observatory. In the first mission where you talk to Dave, 
of course, is at the observatory as well. So there it is, guys. That is the atomic symbol. Now, I'm guessing at the real-life version of the observatory, the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles, it does not have the atomic symbol on the top. But, of course, the Galileo Observatory in GTA 5, the fictitious version of the Griffith Observatory, they made sure to put the atomic symbol right there. Yet another version of the atomic symbol showing up. The end of the trail led to the biggest atomic symbol of them all at the diner. You guys have probably noticed this place at the northern end of the map. So there's the atomic symbol. It is huge and golden. But right next door, you can find the rocket. The rocket appears to be active. It's got smoke coming out the bottom. If you listen closely, you can hear a ticking noise. The same radiation sound effect from the Fallout series. Now, honestly, I do not think it's armed. It does not look like the Up and Atom burger chain is going to attack San Andreas. But there is a rocket, perhaps a big clue, and yet another atomic symbol that seems to point towards a natural disaster, possibly an earthquake happening from an atomic event. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you have another atomic symbol in mind. There's still another one I can think of. The best views in the game are right here on top of the atomic blimp. Even the blimp that circles around Los Santos is named after atomic. You see the symbol in the O? I know it's kind of hard to see from here, but you can tell how atomic is everywhere, leading to the earthquake. If you're wondering why I think that the earthquakes never appeared here in Grand Theft Auto V, it is because of the Chiliad mystery. Everything else from the Chiliad mystery was stripped from single player. It was meant to be a DLC and then moved into GTA Online. Well, I do not think that GTA Online could handle an earthquake. Yes, they could pull it off here in single player, but they can barely hold up the servers as it is. GTA Online is constantly kicking us out, so imagine an earthquake. No way they could handle it, but I'm not giving up hope. They said that they would continue to give us more missions in online mode, even after Red Dead Redemption 2 is out, so hopefully the earthquakes will come. That is why there's so many atomic symbols. I think that the earthquakes were the true ending of the Chiliad mystery. We already have the UFOs. Maybe a takeover would have come, but perhaps the aliens would be the ones to create the earthquakes themselves. Either way, I think an atomic event, maybe World War III or something, would have caused the earthquake. Remember, it's not just about the earthquakes. It is the after effects of the quake as well. We talked about the tsunami. Well, that would create a flood. And that is why I think Trevor not only has the atomic symbol t-shirt, but also the animal arc t-shirt. If it floods, we're going to need a giant arc. And that is why you have the arc clues as well. Now, there's one other thing I want to show off in this episode, and that is a website. What you're going to want to do is search the word chaos. Bring it up in your iFind. And it's going to bring up probably the best website, or at least my favorite website in the game. There we go. Accept the chaos. And the first tab is going to let you play God. So what do they let you do when you play God? What natural disaster do they show off? You got a pretty horrible scene right there. But the next one shows off San Andreas, or at least maybe a miniature version of San Andreas. But the next page, it has been flooded by a tsunami, most likely created by the earthquake, guys. So let me know what you think. Is an earthquake possible in Grand Theft Auto V? This is the biggest game of all time. We all know this. So that is why they probably don't need the earthquake. They might hold off until Grand Theft Auto VI, despite all the clues being in here. And we haven't had an ending to the Chiliad mystery. The ending was supposed to be the earthquake. And trust me, there's plenty of leaks to show that off as well. Thanks again, man. Stay tuned for the next episode, guys. We got a huge one going up tomorrow. I have to vent. You guys got to check that one out. Hit the notification button. It'll let you know whenever we go live or new episodes go up. Stay tuned. But more importantly, as always, look, the arc. Stay trippy, my friends.